What's up everyone? I'm the Nick Martis and today I'm back with another awesome tutorial. This tutorial will be for anyone who is interested in making a character, uh, especially a character that can uh, basically have swim animations and uh, also along with this video I've also included the code so anyone who is interested in not only just creating a animations but they can also add the script as I've also provided uh, pretty much verbatim and you guys can test it how you like to with your own versions but uh, the current screen that you guys are watching uh, is one of the characters that are currently in the game that I'm producing uh, I've included the animations as far as with the three animation players that I'll be using I'm not going to be using uh, the last animation player for the swim forward because both of my animations are included on the swim animation player but uh, as you guys create your own characters uh, you can pretty much mix and match it how you want to and use your own combination but I've just provided uh, just the basic two animations which is the idle and the swimming animation uh, going into the next screen I have provided the coding to show everyone basically what I'm using for uh, my motion uh, everything that you guys uh, see on the screen I have listed with uh, not only the inputs but uh, the variables that I'm using as well as uh, I write them totally in one function and I'm running them in the func physics process uh, delta so that uh, it just basically doesn't happen one time it's just a single action function but uh, as I stated earlier, this is the exact code that I'm using for my motion velocity as far as being able to swim forward and backwards uh, as well as adding in the gravity velocity so the character can ascend and descend uh, as needed. You guys can, like I said, mix and match on variables to give uh, different results, but this is the current script that I'm using, and if you guys want to test my script out, feel free and go ahead. That's why I provided the example. Uh, for anyone that is asking because I know it's very hard to find a lot of things for uh, motion and movement for 3D about Godot online okay so moving to the next screen this is basically what your scene will look like once you add your character into the screen uh, and be sure if you're going to create a scene like this that you uh, create collider so the character just doesn't swim through the wall but once you add in your gravity and everything else uh, the character will just bump into it instead of swim through it unless you guys just make an open scene at which uh, that's pretty much I guess how you guys would like it but um, at this point the only thing that would be left uh, as you guys can see is creating a scene for your character to go into uh, as far as a uh, swimming stage if you guys have watched the earlier videos then you'll already know that um, I I've already been working on a few things but this is pretty much the last shot uh, for all those that watched, I hope you guys like, share, subscribe, and enjoy this video, and share it as well. I'm the Nick Mortis, and I'm out.